body like? It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Look at me, Roiland. I can barely hold this damn thing, much less swing it. So, you can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my... Roderick! Let's try it again. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia, speak with you. Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me up. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I didn't know if I would see you again. Given how we left things. That... That doesn't change how I feel about you, Roderick. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... Griff. What? Lord threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant pig-eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Then you have to defy your father. I intend to. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? They throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind, and so have I. You'd murder a man to prevent your marriage. I know Griffith's horrible, but to go that far... You don't know what it's like, Roderick. You get to decide what you want to do and who you want to be. I'm expected to have my life decided for me. You wouldn't have to do it yourself if you didn't want to. We have a way around that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours, if you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. You'll still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. 
Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I'm sorry. I won't make that promise. You're a bloody coward! Arthur, would you give us a moment? I know you have to think of your family, but... I don't have a choice. I won't live like that. We don't have to murder Griff. I can use those soldiers another way. How? I've thought about it, and this is the only way to be sure. What else could you do to stop it? I know it's... It's drastic. You'll just have to trust me. I don't know. You know me, Elena. What other choice do I have? All right. The guard is yours. Thank you, Elena. I just hope that when the time comes, you'll do what must be done. I guess part of me still hoped that when this was over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again, like we used to. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Elena. I love you too. Ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. I marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei it and Jaime. <laughs> the Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud White Hill. Lud White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Sarah's not really happy with me either. Some things I may have said. Well, if you need Sarah to get you in there, you might as well try, right? It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. 